So it's Mobile World Congress this week, and even though we can't get out to Spain, Lenovo was nice enough to bring some of their new devices over to New York City so we could get some quick hands-on time with them before they go on sale later this spring. Now, let's be clear, Lenovo has a boatload of new systems. There's a lot of new mainstream laptops and a lot of new ThinkPads, a couple tablets, and even a couple gaming machines. But there is one machine that I do want to call out because it seems pretty interesting and it's kind of a departure from especially a lot of the ThinkPads of the past. It's the ThinkPad X13S Gen 1. And the big difference is that this is a Windows on ARM or Windows on Snapdragon more precisely systems. So it's featuring Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8CX Gen 3 processor inside. And because of that, it's a low power ARM system. Qualcomm and Lenovo are saying it can last up to 28 hours on a single charge. Now that's a pretty big claim and you can see why that might be attractive to a lot of different business consumers and enterprise customers who really want a mobile workhorse that they don't have to worry about charging all the time. So let's get into it. It's got a 13.3 inch display and it's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which is something that Lenovo is pushing across a lot of its mainstream and business laptops. The panel is a low power panel that goes up to 400 nits, so you get decent brightness without consuming too much power. And it runs on Windows 11 Pro. It features up to 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, up to one terabyte of PCI Gen 4 SSD storage, Qualcomm's Adreno GPU, Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, and like a lot of systems, it supports multiple flavors of 5G. So you can get a version with sub six gigahertz 5G or millimeter wave 5G. That's a lot of connectivity options, especially for you know, the type of business traveler who might be on the road all the time and doesn't have easy access to Wi-Fi. It's got a 49.5 hour hour battery, Dolby audio speakers. You still get your traditional track point nub and your standard touchpad as well. It has two USB ports on the left, no Thunderbolt 4 because it's a Qualcomm processor. Lenovo is saying that it's made with 90% recycled magnesium chassis on top of some more post-consumer recycled plastic in the body. So they're really trying to hit on that sustainability effort. And you got a nice, nice little magnesium badge on there to remember, hey, it feels kind of like plastic, but it actually is a lot more durable than you might imagine. It's got a very traditional clamshell design. And on the inside, you got your standard ThinkPad keyboard. The one thing I'm not too sure about right now is this touchpad. It feels a little loose for my taste and not quite what I expect from your traditional, like rock solid bulletproof ThinkPads. But everything else feels really great. And it's super light. It's got that durable magnesium chassis. And because it's running Windows on Snapdragon, it's got super long lasting battery life and great connectivity. So it's really that interesting combo for someone who's looking for a long lasting PC on the go. So that's about it for Lenovo from the MWC, but for more coverage about all the other devices that are getting announced this week, stay tuned for Engadget. And don't forget to throw us a like, subscribe, and if you got something to say, throw a comment down below.